everyone and welcome back to the review and I guess in a way reaction to my damage die cast from each of my individual seasons. Today we're doing season number five. I have nine cars to look at here with you guys and this one was a pretty fun season but it's the last kind of sort of small one until we get to season number eight on crash die cast. So if there were any die casts that were used in season four but also came back as duplicate damage cars in season five, they will not be reviewed here. Um, and I will probably just point those out now. We've got the Stenhouse car in the Charlotte uh, dirt track race. That one it has been reused from season four, so that one will not be in here, for example. But that out of the way, let's go ahead and start off with the first race of the season. It was a double downer for diecast race car or damaged diecast cars, and it was Denny Hamlin and Ryan Newman. Uh, it was a crash where Denny Hamlin got loose. His car spun around, got up in the air, almost flipped and he clipped Ryan Newman in the back corner. So we're gonna go ahead and look at Ryan Newman first since he had the least of the damage. And as you can see here, the biggest really thing here is just a kind of a caved in left recorder panel, nothing too crazy here. Uh, there's not much going on on the other side except for some scuff here and on the fenders as well. So this car isn't too much to ride home about, but it is nonetheless a pretty solid looking car. I think it is actually, is it a Matt Kenseth? It's hard to tell, but I do think that is a K. Yeah, I think that is Matt Kenseth. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, I guess a Matt Kenseth car, but with Ryan Newman in it. So so this car isn't really too damaged or anything like that. So it's, you know, not the craziest thing, but uh, Denny Hamlin's car was really the one that took the bite of the damage here. There was at one point a little uh, piece of debris that came off of this front end that I had, but I think I've since lost it um, since I've been moving my cars around and stuff from room to room. Uh, so the biggest part of the damage here is just this part got pulled off the car when it made contact with Newman's uh, left rear and it kind of pulled the rear tire back. And yeah, so this is, and basically kind of makes it look like the suspension broke on the car, which I think is a really cool little uh, touch there. And I've got some scuff marks here and there. He didn't really make too much contact, so there wasn't really the need for um, the most amount of detail for scuffs and stuff, but I did add some um, here on this side. Overall, you know, a solid crash to start out the season with. That is race number one at Daytona. Race number two of the season came at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And the casualty here was the 20 of Eric Jones. So we got the Craftsman car here and he slammed the inside wall with the right side of the car. And you can see the dent here that pushed off. So he made a lot of contact here and the car kind of picked up off the ground like that and kind of spun around. You know, overall, this is one of my favorite damage die casts, not really because of the detail, but just because of the way that this rear quarter panel is shaped, it really looks like he did hit the wall on that side. And then I still got it scuffed up here as well. I think this car did get reused in season number six. Actually, I'm 100% sure that it did because it was at Bristol, the finale of season six. There's Eric Jones from race number two. All right, one of the biggest crashes of the season came a few races later at Gateway when I uh, when I predicted that Joey Logano would be the winner of the first uh, gateway race for the NASCAR Cup Series. And here is Chris Buescher's big tumble in the back stretch. He hit that outside wall and kind of got up on his side and then another car hit him and pulled him over. So that's how that crash happened. And this one is one of my favorite diecast cars I've damaged just because of how much I pulled off the back end of the car. Uh, so we've got the, uh, the rear bumper cover here. Yeah, here's the other section to the deck lid there. And so that goes on right there. And then where did it go? Here we go. And then here's the quarter panel of the car. I think there is another piece somewhere. This one was kind of cool because the, the um, plexiglass on the back is kind of cracked, even though that wouldn't happen in real life. And you know, the tires kind of stayed intact and I love the damage here on the left front as well. It really makes it look like this car hit the wall with a lot of force. And it did, so he went tumbling. So there is one of the biggest hits of the season, Chris Buescher in the Bush's Beans car. <laughs> yeah, Beans. All right, the next one here is gonna be Brad Keselowski from North Wilkesboro. Uh, he blew a tire going into turn number one. And so we're gonna take a look at the left side first. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, he spun around and kind of scuffed up the left side of the car, but the, but the uh, majority of the damage came on the right side of the car and it's not, you know, the craziest either, but we did pancake the, the, this side of the car flared up the fenders and stuff. Um, one thing I wish I did was I actually was actually blow out the tire and have it all the debris kind of come out onto the door here. I wish I did that, but I didn't. So, um, I kind of feel upset at myself for that one. 
But uh, yeah, overall, it's a solid car. Nothing too crazy to ride home about either. And that is about it for this one. All right, next up is another classic NASCAR Miscraft Cup Series race from the Talladega Super Speedway. Uh, we've got ourselves two cars in this one. We're gonna go start off with the first damaged car. Another one that I tore the front end off of. <laughs> so, you know, I feel like this car uh, was one of my better crashes of the season, stop motion wise. Alex Oatman slammed the outside wall at Dega and ripped off the front end of the race car. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at the hood here. We've got a lot of damage here on the front end. I wish I scraped all this up a little bit better because uh, it really does just kind of look like it was haphazardly kind of pulled off with a pair of pliers, which is exactly what I did. You know, some decent scuffs here and then some scuffs here. I did mark off Goodyear, but I think the Sharpie's starting to wear off a bit. So that's unfortunate. Uh, again, no Sharpie on the car just yet to put uh, rubber on. I wish I did. I really wish I did that earlier. There's the Alex Bowman crash from Talladega. And next up is the Ryan Newman on the last lap of the race. Uh, you can see I really like this one because the um, the spoiler I curved, like we actually rolled over. So that was a really cool touch. I love that part. Uh, it, it looks like here that I scuffed it up to make it look like it hit a wall, but it didn't. It just rolled. The Ryan Newman car roll over pretty nice. I wish I damaged the roof rails a bit more because they are just a little bit too clean i think for my liking overall you know it's, it's a solid a rollover looking race car you can tell it flipped just by the spoiler uh, i really wish i did a better job with this race car uh when i damaged it so if, like i said if i go back and remaster some of these crashes i'll probably touch up these cars all right the final race for this video we're going to cover is the finale the atlanta motor speedway uh, where later Martin Truex Jr. crashed into the outside of wall with Paul Menard slamming into his butt and lifting him up off the ground. So we'll do Paul Menard first here. Uh, one thing I've always hated about Lionel, or I guess just diecast in general, is that they had to have a base. Uh, so when I damaged this car, the red showed through underneath all the white here. And I didn't really like that all too much uh, because you can see it around here, especially on this car. A lot of the authentics line cars had this where the, it, they would chip off and they'd show like this really badly and i've always hated that and so i've kind of despised looking at this car for this very reason but i love the way that the hood is curved here because it makes it look like he did hit the wall and then Truex climbed up on top of it so i thought that was pretty cool that there was a little bit of a unique kind of formation here on the hood i could have touched all this up by using some black sharpie or something and then smearing it to make it kind of look like tires and stuff but again i was still an amateur at this and kind of haphazardly doing it just for the views so now we're here and i want to put more work uh put more effort into my art i would definitely go back and completely redo this car if i had the chance but um uh, kind of can't now because it's well, it's here so uh that's pomenard and then this one's one of my favorite die casts i've damaged just in general i said this in the last episode i kind of like the idea that uh, there's a lot of taped up race cars that were getting repaired and i think this one actually kind of broke a bit from the race because this would this part of the car would actually hang on by the tape so it, this would actually kind of hold on kind of like that and then yeah kind of like that actually but um the tape has gotten really weak so you know it was, it was really cool in the race because i've had tricks continue because uh, he was a leader at the time and then he came back and stuff so i thought it was kind of a fun touch a little bit of fun storyline in the race in reality if he slammed the wall that hard he would have caved in the right front of the car and he wouldn't have been able to drive. So like I said, again, if I go back and remaster these crashes, I would probably have him hit at a shallow angle and then it would just be most of the damage coming from Paul Menard. Um, but overall, I really like this race car and its damage. Um, I know my buddy Blade Garcia, Eminem Cup Series, doesn't like it because it's Truex that's damaged. Ugh. But um, you know, it's kind of cool. Overall, I really, really think that this is one of my favorite uh, diecast cars of damage just because of all the sheet metal and stuff like that. Same thing with the Chris Buescher car. And there goes the back bumper again. But uh, yeah, so that is all of the uh, damaged cars from season number five. A little bit shorter, I think, than season number four. There really wasn't much of a, much more story about this because I feel like season five felt like one of those seasons where I wasn't at my utmost potential. and was just kind of going through the motions, really and not really wanting to learn that much. And that's kind of where I improved a lot in season six, I think. The damaged cars were still there. They were decent for a few of them and kind of produced some okay results here uh, for the crashes, but still people loved them a lot. So um, yeah, that's it here from the season number five uh, showcase. 
Thank you all for watching, and season six is coming up. It's going to be a, probably going to be a pretty lengthy one, so uh, you guys better get ready for that because uh, I'm going to need a few drinks of water to get through that one because <laughs> I'm already struggling now, and I've just did season four and season five, so I think season six has the most of any of these, so. Um, but uh, we will get to that when we get there. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you guys on the season six showcase. See you later, guys.